Twin Kahu will be showing you how he cooks five spice chicken, a moist baked chicken in a Vietnamese marinade. For beginners, he'll show the important steps of cutting fat, brining for moisture, and a quick recipe for pickled vegetables. It's five spice chicken. To so go through the ingredients, we have um, veggie soy sauce, um, poison sauce, sesame oil, um, some white wine, um, honey, white sugar, and uh, it's fish sauce. Um, have a little bit of kosher salt, um, four cloves of minced garlic, um, a couple teaspoons of turmeric, and um, a shallot, roughly minced, a little bit of ground ginger, um, some ground cloves, and most importantly, Vietnamese five spice powder. Um, so not all of these ingredients are necessary to make the basic marinade, so I'll, I'll let you know which ones I'm adding in, uh, just as my own preference. Um, but we'll start off um, just throwing the shallots and the onions garlic into our mixing bowl and then about a quarter cup of soy sauce and this marinade is good for about two and a half pounds of meat I have uh, I'm cleaning right now uh, about six leg quarters and there we go quarter cup of soy sauce right there and very important the nook mam um, Vietnamese fish sauce and we just get about a couple of tablespoons in here and we're going to add a tablespoon of the sesame oil this is one of the optional ingredients. If you don't have it, um, just vegetable oil will work as well. Um, and I normally like to use brown sugar, but um, I don't have any today, so we're just going to use um, about a tablespoon, two tablespoons of sugar. Um, this is just really your preference on how sweet you like the marinade. Just a little dash of honey. There. Um, I'm going to throw in the turmeric. This is to give it a little bit of color. Um, again, it's not necessary, but um, I like to have it in there. It's got a nice uh, little flavor to it. A um, couple of teaspoons of ground ginger. Tasted this all yesterday. And some ground clove, about a teaspoonful. And a very important the five spice powder. And like two teaspoons of this. And this has already got like that clove flavor in it, and it also has um, the little licorice flavoring uh, of anise and fennel. Um, just a bit more. And finish it off with just about a half a teaspoon of salt. Oh, I forgot the poison sauce. Um, Sauce. This again is optional, it's just so just give it a nice stir. You should be able to smell it as it's coming out. Nice smoky aroma. It's gonna cook the chicken. And lastly, About a quarter cup as well, and what this will do is as it cooks, um, the liquid will burn off and it'll leave behind like a nice sugary glaze. It'll thin out the marinade just a little bit. Give it a little and 
and there we go. So we're working with leg quarters today, um, which is really nice, rich, dark meat. Um, but it's got a lot of fat, as you can see, and we don't really need all of it. I've already started trimming um, the other pieces, so I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do these. You can just use a set of kitchen shears, and then there's a good hunk right in here. It's just all fat and skin, so I'm just going to cut that out. There goes my phone. There's a nice chunk of unnecessary fat and skin. That's the first one. The second set is right along the top side. And you can start along the back at the drumstick and just cut along there. And what this also does is it frees up that flap of skin so we can get the marinade underneath there. Um, so one of the best parts of this dish is the carrot salad that goes along with the chicken. So what I have is what's left of a carrot. I did two of them. So use a peeler and just did them right over this bowl right here. Give them nice thin pieces that'll pickle really fast and really easily. Now what we're going to do with this is we're going to sprinkle a little bit of rice vinegar and sugar and just let it sit in the fridge while we're cooking the rest of the meal. When it's done, it's going to have that nice tangy uh, pickled crunch. Alright, now it's almost time to start cooking. Uh, last step we have to do uh, before we marinate the chicken is just get rid of the brine. So just go ahead and pour that all out. And we're just going to quickly pat dry each of these leg quarters before throwing it in with all that marinade that we made earlier. And here we go. There we go. You can smell that. Make you hungry. It should be really aromatic. Just give it a nice blending with your hands. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so we're just gonna cover this back up, throw it back in the fridge for maybe 30 minutes. Um, about 15 minutes from now, we're gonna get the oven preheated to 375 uh, with the rack in the middle, and uh, go ahead and either grease a large casserole dish or um, get a baking tray and put some aluminum foil with a little bit of oil on it. Um, and we should be good to go. So uh, right now we're about ready to put the leg quarters into the oven. Um, traditionally it's done over a charcoal or a wood fire grill, um, but what I've done here is just taken a baking rack and covered it in foil, lightly brushed it with oil. The oven's preheated to 375, rack in the middle, and uh, you can just see I've laid out the, uh, the chicken legs like this, and I've cut three slashes um, right across the main part of the leg quarter. Um, just, I feel like it helps it cook a little faster. Um, we're just going to put it in for about 30 to 40 minutes. I'm going to set the timer for 35 minutes right here. And go ahead, since we have a lot of marinade, just go ahead and cover that. Every 10 minutes or so, I'm going to check on the chicken and just rebaste it. I have a little basting brush. And then to finish it and give it a nice glaze, we're going to move the rack to the high rack and we're going to do broil it for about 10 minutes. Uh, but that will come later. So, Alright, so the next step, uh, very crucial for the rice, is we make the sweet fish sauce um, to pour over everything. So it's going to be one part sugar, one part fish sauce, two parts water, and half a part rice vinegar. Okay, and so that is our sweet cooking sauce. Tastes great. Add some chilies to it. Right there, I've chopped up and we've prepared some tomatoes to go as side dish. And let's take the chicken out. Here we go. And we're ready to stir. Let's just start with this one. And we have a perfect plate. I have spiced chicken ready to eat. And we can even take some of this juice here. 